Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about leaky gut, IBS, Crohn's, and vitamin deficiency. What happens is that a lot of people get d damage in their intestines from antibiotics, from viruses, from certain microbes, and the little tiny hairs or cilia or roots in your intestine become damaged to the point where you don't absorb like you did anymore. So like in a little plant that has the roots, your intestines are the roots just like a plant that absorb the nutrients. So one of the biggest things that doesn't go in is something called bile, B-I-L-E. That's like the detergent that helps dissolve grease and pull, it pulls in fat-soluble vitamins. So if you're consuming food and the bile gets released and it doesn't get absorbed in the small intestine, but lo later down in the chain of intestines, because you have like 33 feet of intestine, so let's say it finally gets absorbed way down there, that can uh, be the wrong place to be absorbed and it can create a problem like a, an excess, excessive laxative in that you have diarrhea, bloating, cramping, because the bile can even act as a toxic thing. Um, and uh, normally you would absorb, reabsorb about 95% of all your bile, okay? And it goes right back to the liver through the lymphatics and then it recycles. Well, with these conditions, you will be losing all your bile. So there's going to be a point where you have too much bile and then you don't hardly have any at all. So you can fluctuate between constipation and diarrhea all the time. So um, there's a couple things that um, you need to know about not having bile. Number one, that's when you start having vitamin deficiencies. So all the vitamin deficiencies of vitamin A would be vision problems at night, um, skin problems, sinus issues, all the inner skin, like your immune system. Uh, you're going to have those despite consuming vitamin A products because you don't have the bile, because the intestine is damaged. This is just a, this is a big common cause of a lot of vitamin deficiencies. And then you have vitamin E. That's good for the heart. It's good for hormones. It's good for skin. So all of a sudden you have all the, this dry skin and you're wondering where that came from. Uh, then you have vitamin D. Vitamin D helps the absorption of calcium and magnesium by 20% in the small intestine. Well, if it's damaged, if the lining of your intestine is damaged, you're not going to pull in that vitamin D. So right there, there goes the immune system. There goes the calcium. There goes the minerals. You can't pull these things in and you can't sleep. It leads to a cascade of issues. So um, one of the remedies for, the, for these conditions is uh, high amounts of uh, vitamin D if you can absorb them. Uh, then you have K1 and K2. Those are involved with clotting, and K2 is involved with the mobilization of calcium out of the artery. So again, if you can't absorb those, those you can have a lot of problems with the blood pressure, heart problems, arthritis, bursitis, things like that. Okay, so that's another cause of vitamin deficiency, despite you eating them. So here's what you have to do. Um, you have to heal the intestinal wall. So you're going to have to avoid um, a couple things. Of course, you're going to have to avoid the most obvious thing, which is gluten. Okay, you have to avoid, in fact, avoid all grains. If you have leaky gut, IBS, or Crohn's, and you're still doing grains, that is a huge problem for you. So, I mean, if we just eliminate grains, and even including gluten or not, um, probably a lot of your problems will clear right up. Dairy, if you have these issues, you're gonna have allergies to dairy, so just cut the dairy out. You can't do cheese, you can't do milk. So those two things are the no-brainer, of course, also, what comes with that, with the breads, the pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, all that, and the sugar. So if we eliminate that, that's good. But there's things that you can do. Bone broth is a really good healer because it's loaded with the L-glutamine, which is actually heals the lining of the intestine. You can take also a good probiotic. Sometimes some of these probiotics are too strong, and they can create a war and more of a detox. So you might want to start off slowly. Um, I like a microbe called Effective Microbes. And I'll put a link down below. Um, you can get it on Amazon or another website. But effective microbes are a nice blend of a lot of different microbes that all work synergistically. Cabbage is one of the uh, vegetables that are it's really loaded with L-glutamine. And it's good for ulcers. Uh, and you can do cabbage juice. That's a real good healer of the intestines. Uh, cabbage uh, is good for heartburn. You can take it in many different forms. You can cook it, steam it. You can eat it raw but you may have a problem with it raw, so you might have to steam it. And that includes 
avoiding too many foods with too many fibers too because fiber could irritate and overwhelm the microbes. So this whole thing with you even doing a kale shake blended could be a problem. You might not be able to do that because you don't have the microbes yet to be able to pull it off. Pickle juice seems to be a real safe thing, good for the intestines. Uh, anything with lactic acid like kombucha tea would be good. Apple cider vinegar would be good for some people. Ghee is a clarified butter. That's also good if it's grass fed. That has some fat soluble vitamins especially vitamin A, because what we don't want to do, we don't want to avoid too many of these vitamins because since you're deficient in these nutrients, you're going to have to consume them in larger amounts for something to go in there. I mean, we're not going to just avoid uh, those nutrients, so we have to put them in somehow. Uh, so then in green juices, that will provide chlorophyll to help heal the inner skin. Uh, the wheatgrass juice is the best because it has a, um, a certain hormonal growth factor in there that's really beneficial to damaged skin. And we, all the inside of our intestines are basically kind of a skin. It's an inner skin. So that would be really good to clean and heal the intestines, okay? So anyway, so that's the summary of that. And if you have these conditions, uh, it could be why you're deficient in these nutrients, all right? Thank you so much for watching.